breaking right now. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett announcing all Marion County public schools will be closed starting tomorrow. The mayor also calling for the suspension of large non-essential gatherings. He made the announcement just a short time ago. News 8 Sierra Hignite was at the press conference. Sierra, this is all to protect and prevent the spreading of this virus. That press conference just wrapped up a few moments ago with some big changes coming here to Indianapolis. Both city and county leaders saying they are going to immediately put new practices into effect here in Indianapolis. Perhaps the largest announcement coming out of this meeting today is that all Marion County schools will be closed effective tomorrow. Now that is the 11 public school districts that are going to be closed effective immediately tomorrow. And then there are other charter schools and private schools um, that are expected to close by Monday, so you will need to check in with your school district. But county health officials saying they recommend all schools in Marion County close effective immediately. Now, a big question with that is what about meals that students rely on? Now, the city says they are planning to implement resources from the Parks Department to figure out how they're going to get kids those meals. Now, IPS says they do have a plan to get students in the IPS school system meals tomorrow. However, they are developing a larger plan for the rest of those school districts in order for students to get meals during this closure. Now, they are recommending that schools stay closed through spring break and through April 5th. That means they would resume class on April 6th. In addition, they're going with the government governor's recommendation for all non-essential gatherings of 250 people or more to hold off for the next 30 days. Now, the mayor said he's prepared to extend that if it's necessary, but he said they're going to continue to monitor that situation. I have faith in Indianapolis. I have seen us rise up time and time again and do difficult things as one city. These things won't be easy. And there are, unfortunately, more difficult days ahead. But I am confident, I am confident that we are up to the challenge. Now, the changes with how they're going to treat COVID-19 are also impacting IMPD, the city recommending that they do not arrest people that um, are, pre or, excuse me, are making non-offense, non-violent crimes. Rather, instead, they're going to be giving them a summons, and that's in order to keep as few people in the jail system as possible. The mayor saying only putting people in jail who deserve to be in jail. Now that's going to take effective immediately as well. Now, right now, we do have two confirmed cases in Marion County. Now, as more test kits start to come in and we're able to test more people, that number could continue to grow. We're going to continue this coverage. You can see that full press conference right now on our website. That's wishtv.com. Live downtown, I'm Sierra Hignite, Wish TV News 8. Sierra, thank you very much. Meanwhile, Governor Eric Holcomb also announcing new steps to protect the public from the virus outbreak. He laid out several steps after two more confirmed cases of the virus are in the state. Non essential gatherings must be limited to no more than 250 people. Nursing facilities and hospitals should restrict and screen all visitors. And one of them is giving schools a, a 20 day waiver if they need to close. You already heard public schools in Marion County will close starting Monday. Several others are also closing. Zionsville Community Schools will begin e-learning days Monday. Lebanon Community Schools will start closing tomorrow. Plainfield Community Schools closed starting tomorrow, returning after spring break. And Wayne County Schools will be closed March 23rd and uh, through April 13th.